Mushroom Wonderland. All right, got my rain gear, got my little shovel, got my little uh, tackle box to carry the goods in, my backpack with my tripod, and of course, trusty pup Loki. Hey, buddy. Today, we're gonna go look for some truffles. So, it's a rainy day here in Mushroom Wonderland in March 2024. It is uh, pretty gross out. But we're going to meet our friend Will again and his dog Penny. So, we're definitely gonna find some truffles on this episode. So, thanks for hitting subscribe and come with me into Mushroom Wonderland. All right, so we got Will behind us with his dog Penny. I scouted this spot like a month ago and it's been on my mind and it just looks good. It's like all Douglas fir that are about 25, 30 years old, kind of uh, sparse underbrush with mainly just sword fern. And so Will's following us out to this spot. We had to get a permit to come on to this forest land. So make sure if you're going into tree farmland, you know, to find out whose property it is and if you have to get permission to go on there. So um, here we go. There's Penny. She's good at finding them truffles. We go up right here. Oh, look, there's some real mushrooms growing right here. Oh, beautiful. Cool. Look at that. A grossaby, Praycox, the spring field cap, a nice little fairy ring of them. No, no rain in here. Not a. Not a good edible, but they are edible. So what do you think of this? This is beautiful. Does this look good? So the, the hunt begins. Just go find Luffert. That's truffle backwards, so she doesn't get confused when we're talking about it. Hi, girl. <laughs> She's not really showing any indications. Yeah. I'm gonna put these in my little apartment. All right, Penny just randomly hit on this thing right on the side of the gravel road here. She just hit on a uh, a very old, small Oregon white truffle. Look, this one has some um, maggots hanging out of it. Show me, Penny, come here. Yeah, and there's like little animal digs right here. Yep, those are worms, so the worms like the truffles too. Nice. But that's a good sign. They're here growing with these dug furs. These are pretty young. Look at the size of these. The They must be associated with these guys. And these are probably only 10 years old. It's another old one. Really? There it is. This is so far from ideal soil. Right, very rocky. You like more clay-like soil, less rocks, less sand. Yeah, yeah, just easier to dig through. That's why the animals haven't gotten here is because the rocks are just too big to move. So this one's got that reddish hue, it's probably Oregon Enzy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any uh, Whoa. 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 Good eyes. Oh my God. Where did this come from? A little pile of them? <laughs> Holy crap. Yes, Betty. What? <laughs> yes, girl. Wow. <laughs> I feel like I should get rewarded. Yeah, these are yours. Good job. Oh my gosh. Give her a liver treat. <laughs> Whoa. A whole handful of truffles just. Look at you. Look at you, girl. She's like, here's the jackpot. So these must be growing. Yeah, these trees are only like 10 years old, maybe. 15. What do you think? Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, six inch, seven inch around at the trunk. That's pretty small. Now, Charles the Fever said that they can associate with trees as young as up to three years old, I think. So, look at that. A big pile of 
white truffle. They're a little dirty right now because they are in the dirt. And, uh, Show me. Do another one here. Yeah. Show me. I'll put these Show in my me. little tackle box. Let me cut one of these open and see what it looks like inside. This big, huge one, maybe? Yeah. Got a rock embedded in it, but oh. let's take a look at. Interesting. Oh. That's pretty young, then, if it's just pure white. Yeah, the is Gleba is just white. I really don't pick up any scent. I bet if we let them mature. So these could be premature, huh? Interesting. There is no like here. veining in that Gleba there, yeah. Usually they'll have darker veins in between that whitish stuff. And it just doesn't have any scent. But they sure look like them on the outside. That one does look like it has like a little bit of the marbling, so they could be young. I mean, the real way to tell is gonna be to get it under the microscope and see how the spores are growing. Not, because they're just so tightly clustered in here. Yeah, that, look at the inside here. Oh, that's a white truffle. Smell that, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're just young. So I think this is what young, just a huge deposit yes. of them growing right here. Yes. Yep, that's it. Over there, too. Girl. Keep searching. Keep searching. <laughs> What's going on? Yeah. Can you show me? Oh, she wants more treats. Yeah, yeah. She found like six, <laughs> so she expects six treats. So there's like nine or ten truffles right there. Crazy, just growing with these youngsters. So uh, it's just oh, she found some more. <laughs> no, in here. Show me There is one thing in mycology. Every time I thought I really understand a mushroom from my experience, it proves me wrong again. So all right, we just got to spot number two. Little Oregon grape and a fern. Nice. This little guy was sitting in the trail, a little salamander, I think. I don't know. We call them mud puppies around here. It's got that orange bottom. I heard they're pretty poisonous. Don't eat these things, but I'm gonna set him on this log. He seems very slow. Here, flip over, buddy. What's wrong? I know it's a little cold out, but here. A little blanket on him. Here you go, bud. Good luck. <laughs> Focus, girl. I know there's something here. I believe you. Oh, come on. That's a pine cone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. There's almost certainly something around here. Whoa, Penny! What? It's a white. Oh. Yes, Penny. Yeah. That one is very funky cheesy. Yeah. You think maybe it's past its prime? It probably is. Yeah. Kind of wow. It, like. it smells like uh, just stinky feet cheese. <laughs> Limburger or something. Is that? Whoa! Oh. Hey, your eyes are so good. Oh, yeah. Dang, you got, you're getting that. Look at you. Yes, Betty. Wow. All right. This is good soil for it, right? Look yes. at that. So that is almost certainly a kabo. Oh. 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 It's very clay soil. Beautiful. These all came out of this one little nook, man. We've been walking out here for 20 minutes and she's just hitting them right here. Show me, Penny. 
So one thing we notice in this spot, we have a lot of sword fern, even Oregon grape. So I'm gonna, let's, ah, there it is. And they don't seem to be like connected by any rhizomorphs or anything like that, right? Wow, yeah, that's a chunky one. Huh? We, well, I was just thinking when, as we've been looking in the past, I don't see anything like that. Yeah, I was kind of wondering if they're connected to any sort of mycelium that was visible or obvious. That's a chunker. Look at that. Oh yeah, I think I think they are getting past their prime though. This smells like booty. Really? Ah, oh, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Booty? Like booty. Yeah, you're right. Booty. Boy, that's not great. Let's Here, why don't you cut it open for us? Let's see what we got. Oh. Oh wow. It's pretty. Oh, it's pretty blown out, huh? Yeah. Huh. Let's see. It certainly looks like a bosom in there with the marbling. Let's try cutting it this way. Yeah. It's okay. interesting that it ripens at different times. Yeah. This is a 365 nanometer UV light. It definitely brightens things up, but uh, would you call this way past its due? I would still try it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or at least using it for infusing if it's a. Uh, right. Let's just see where it goes. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big, nice. Oh, yes, big. Penny. Yes, girl. You want me uh, to put that in the tackle box? Yeah. Okay. We're going to head to a third spot, even though we found some. Oh, look at this. Young baby mushrooms that are growing. Oh, a bunch of gallerina. So it's nice to see mushrooms are coming out, spring type mushrooms. Look at that big fruiting all oh, here. Rumor has it that the biggest truffles are found on the way back to the car though, so. <laughs> all right, we were at spot two. We had good luck. We found a bunch of truffles actually, but now we're gonna go try to find some black truffles, so we're hitting the road again. All right, we're at spot number three, and we're gonna have both dogs uh, twice Twice the luck, they're they're cool with each other now, not too excited. That's good. Hey. Oh, she's going deep. Yeah, she is. That is some soft looking soil, huh? You need my shovel? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. Is that right? She kept hitting over here, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh my yes, lord! Betty! What? Yes. Look at you! Fat daddy! Yes. Good girl! Good girl! Oh. Wow! Oh, what a good girl! That All one's right. been like cut in half too. Yes. That's so oh, it's very know. fruity. That is so different from the whites. I will. I will roar to you again. Wow. That, good. That's job. what I needed, Patty. That's what I needed. Good, good girl. <laughs> oh. Yes, you good girl. Oh yeah. Yep. Beautiful. Wow. Good girl. So those are some yeah. very soft yeah. soil. Yeah. yeah. That's what you gotta find, bud. Can you find that? Where are they? It has this very ornamented texture. Down. Down. Cool. White and black truffles in the same day. Whew. I, I like the smell. What do you think it smells like? Can you describe it? A dead body. A dead body, she thinks. <laughs> well, that one might That'd be, a be bit. such a good smelling dead body. <laughs> It's very brushy here. That's incredible that. Can we see what you got? Oh my lord. Beautiful. Look at that. Ooh man, they smell good. I almost want to say I like to smell better than whites, but it smell wise. It's different. It's definitely different. Now if you're gonna infuse that into butter or oil, do it two or three days. Ah, uh, okay. The whites infuse a lot faster than the blacks. Beautiful. That's pr 
<laughs> big one too, about as big as the last one. So here's the inside of the Lucangium, the black. I'm gonna take one more little shaving off. Look at that, good detail. So here's the Gleba and, is it the dark sp yeah. spots that are the spores? Correct. Yeah. So this is like a folded up morel kind of. <laughs> They're actually related. And uh, it's got a good fruity smell. Oh, that little piece just fell and she might like that. But yeah, Lucangium carthusianum or the Oregon black truffle. Beautiful. And is this prime season for them right now? Yeah, it is. We're kind yeah. of running from uh, February through to early May. Cool. It's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Awesome, yeah, that was so much fun, man. We found two types of truffle. We'll take a closer look at those when I get back home and can get some close ups and stuff. Uh, good girl, Penny. Thanks, buddy. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah. Super yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. We had another successful truffle in day with so Penny, the star. She's so good. All right, so I'm back at my dining room table and I have our find from today. Look at that. Quite a score. These are all Oregon white truffles. All of these right here were found in that one little patch, which was crazy. Hard to get a hold of. But uh, man, this, this little tackle box smells so strong right now. So there's that young one. You don't see much of that um, marbling there in the Gleba. This is one of the young Oregonensi. I think because of that reddish color, uh, we can deduct that it's the Oregonensi. Um, there's several of those, and then these Lucangium carthusianum, the black truffles. These are what I'm especially excited about today. And these ones were both kind of broke in half. Can you imagine how big they were before they got broke? This one got cut in the field, but you can see that marbling. It reminds me of uh, like cookies and cream ice cream. It looks like Oreo filled ice cream. and. It kind of looks like a lump of coal on the outside, right? These, I think they smell like, uh, I used to work in a, a dairy warehouse and, and the area where the yogurt would get accidentally damaged from the forklifts and then it would kind of dry up in the back of the chill department. Um, that's what it smells like to me. <laughs> uh, but I don't think it's a bad smell. I think they smell kind of good. Definitely, definitely smell different from these white truffles. So these are all dirty. I'm just gonna rinse them off in the faucet. I think it's fine. And so here we have tuber organensi. And this one is a cleaned off one. You can see how reddish colored it really is. And man, it really has that solvent smell. Almost smells like gasoline or something when it's in a sealed jar like that. So tuber organensi, the Oregon winter white truffle. So this one's, um, range kind of goes from November to around late February. Uh, this is when they're going to start kind of going bad. And we have some examples here of ones that are like past their prime smell like booty, you know? And then, um, so there's your Oregon winter white truffle. And then this one, tuber gibosum. Will was kind enough to make these little jars. And this one also clean, man. And that one is pungent. And I mean, it is just like Oh, stinky feet, uh, gasoline, Parmesan cheese, kind of like the white button mushrooms, but see how much whiter this one is. So this one, the Oregon white truffle, that one's got a, a real brownish colored gleba in there with like white veining. So anyways, right here, you're looking at three different species of native truffle. We have tuber organensi, tuber gibosum, and this one, a completely different genus um, Lucangium carthusianum or the black truffle. Totally different. Totally different smell profile and everything. Different food to prepare with it. So I'm getting ready to do a photo shoot. Got the fancy camera and stuff set up. And I'm going to clean all these off. And I'm actually going to have a piece of pizza and I'm going to shave a little truffle over it because uh, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. All right. I got this uh, winter white. I got the tuber organensi. I'm going to just shave it onto my pizza and it's a little bit thin. You can open up your knife a little bit more like that. There we go. <laughs> That's a lot of truck.
truffle on a piece of pizza. There we go. Oh my gosh. There's a lot. All right, here we go. Super truffle pizza. This is actually a sourdough Willie's in Kingston, Washington, but with a bunch of white truffle. It's like very intensely mushroomy to me. Like, kind of like the, um, the smell of white button mushrooms. That's what it tastes like. And garlicky. They actually smell way stronger than they taste, I think. So thanks for joining this episode of Mushroom Wonderland. That was super fun. I'm glad that uh, we found a way to bridge this gap in the lamest part of mushroom season. But, uh, but I'm starting to see more and more guild mushrooms coming out. And uh, Mushroom Wonderland is going to be back this spring with a lot of awesome episodes about morels and oyster mushrooms and agaricus and other good edible mushrooms that are going to be coming out this spring. So thanks for joining. Make sure to hit subscribe. Check out the description for all the links. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Much love. Peace out.